everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool tag. Look at this tag here. I made this tag using glue, some foil, and a mink machine. So let me show you how I did it. I'm using this gorgeous stamp set here by Brutus Monroe. I love, love, love these butterflies and the sentiments in here, as well as just a regular manila tag. So I'm gonna bring in one of those gorgeous butterflies. I love, love, love the details on this, but I'm gonna use an empty stamp pad. It's just empty. And some Brutus Monroe craft glue. The craft glue today is going to work like ink. So it's super easy to do. I'm just going to rub some of that glue onto that empty ink pad. Remember, it has nothing on it. Absolutely nothing. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp with the glue. So I'm just going to pat the glue all over the butterfly. And this is a really, really cool technique. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it down on the tag. Now I'm going to do this quite a few times, but what's so easy about this, I had this in my head that I wonder if I could use glue and the foil to make a tag. And it just kind of like came to me. So all you have to do is use a good quality glue. And that's why I really suggest the uh, Brutus Monroe glue. This glue is fantastic for all of your crafting needs. If you're not familiar with this company, I'm going to give you a link below because you really, really need to check out the products that Brutus Monroe has. Christopher has outdone himself with some fantastic products. All right, so I just sped this up just a little bit and I'm making sure not to overlap any of my butterflies. I wanna make sure each one is separate on that tag. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a paper towel because I do have some of that glue on my mat and I don't want it to stick to my foil. I'm going to use some of the Heidi Swap Mink um, foil in this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. All right, so I'm just going to lay it down right across my tag, and I'm gonna make sure I get the tag completely covered with the foil. All right, now all I'm gonna do is smooth out my foil. I wanna really, really press it, press it into that tag so I can get good coverage with the foil. Now I'm going to grab this sleeve that comes with your mink machine, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this tag through the machine. This is super, super easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the machine and stick this in. While I'm waiting for that to run, I need to get the glue off of my stamp. I wanna make sure that I don't let that glue sit there too long because I don't want it to ruin a stamp. So just make sure you clean your stamp very, very well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up and show you this gorgeous tag. Check it out. How pretty is that? And it's glue, I used glue. Unbelievable. All right, now let's go ahead and get this tag together. So I went ahead and I cut down just a piece of craft paper. So I thought this would look really, really pretty. And I'm going to grab one of the sentiments out of that butterfly sentiment set. I love this graphic color of cornflower. It's so, so pretty. And it's chalk ink, and I have to tell you, it's fantastic. You guys gotta get your hands on some of this chalk ink. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stamp down and I'm gonna press firmly so I can get a good impression the first time. So I'm just gonna make sure I touch on all of the areas so I get a great impression. Look how pretty that ink is. Oh, I'm in love, absolutely in love. All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put a border across the bottom. So I'm just gonna grab one of my border punches. I believe this one is a Martha Stewart punch. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch out a cute little border across the bottom. I didn't want it to be like just totally square. I need a decorative little edge on the bottom of this piece. All right, so I have a cute little border at the bottom now of that piece, and now we can go ahead and put our tag together. So I'm going to grab that same glue again. This is the great um, craft glue. 
You can use it for everything, absolutely everything. It dries clear and it has a great bond. So this is not going to slip and slide off of any of your craft projects. Once it dry, it is dry. It's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm going to place that down along the bottom very carefully. I'm going to just tap it down. And I wanted to leave it so you can kind of see the butterflies underneath that little scalloped edge. Just clean off some of that excess glue. All right, now I'm gonna grab some ribbon. And I just happen to have this ribbon that matched the foil perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that ribbon right through the top hole of my tag. And what I love about this ribbon, it also matches the corn flower ink perfectly. I mean, I could not have planned this any better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my ribbon right across the top. And I'm not gonna tie it in a bow here. I'm gonna actually use some twine. And again, this twine I think came in like a pack that I picked up, I think from Marshalls. Again, I've had this forever. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the twine around the blue ribbon. I didn't wanna like make a knot with the blue ribbon. I thought it would be um, kinda cool and funky looking if I wrapped it with the twine and then um, tied a bow on the front of it. So I'm just going to get that really, really tight and I'm gonna go ahead and make a bow. Now I would tell you, I am bow challenged. I might have told you guys that in other videos, I am tremendously bow challenged. <laughs> if I'm not using a bow making machine, I am bow challenged. But I'm gonna do my best to try to get me a good looking bow. Cause I think the twine just adds a little bit of pizzazz or another element to my tag. It's kind of rustic, but because we're going to tie it in a bow, it's going to look kind of elegant in the same way. So I'm just going to go ahead and fiddle around with this and get myself a halfway decent looking bow. I think I can pull this off without pulling out my bow machine. I think I'm going to be good. All right. So there, I finally have my bow done. Just gonna adjust it just a tad bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ends. I want my ends to have like that little fishtail look. So I'm just gonna fold my ribbon in half and then go on my, my scissors on kind of like a catty corner. And I'm gonna get, see that, that little fishtail at the end? That finishes off your ribbon very, very nicely. All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna fold it in half making sure to not to cut off my fingers because <laughs> I've come very, very close before. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and snip that off. And now we have some great ends to our ribbon that looks so much better than just a straight piece. Now I'm gonna jazz up the front of this tag. I'm going to grab some sequins because you know, any card that has a little bit of sparkle and shine obviously has to have some sequins. <laughs> so I'm just gonna scatter a few clear ones across just the tag part. And then I think I wanna add maybe some blue in as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of the blue sequins and add that to the tag as well. This tag is coming together gorgeously and everything is matching what I love so much. All right, so I scattered out my sequins in the places that I want them. And look, I'm bringing right back in that same glue. So you can see I used the glue to put down um, the butterflies. I've used the glue to put the front onto my tag and I can use that same exact glue to hold my sequence. The glue is gonna dry clear so you're never gonna see that it was white glue. And like I said, that is what's so amazing about this glue. You guys got to get your hands on some of this glue. It's fantastic. So I'm just going to add a few more, a few more here and there, some of the clear ones. And maybe I'll move, maybe I'll move one down a little bit lower. And I'm just going to go ahead and put down my glue. And then this way I can finagle how to put on my, um, the rest of my sequins. I really think the sequins adds just the touch of shimmer to go along with those pretty foiled butterflies. I think it, it adds just a little bit of class, let's say, to our tag. This tag came out absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. 
I'm really in love with this tag, you guys. <laughs> All right, let me bring it up and show you how gorgeous. And here is another one that I made earlier, just so I knew that this technique would work. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys soon. Go forth and be crafty. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. I'll see you guys later. Take care.